Three Action, the author of The Greatest Comeback. Patrick J. Buchanan joins us, sir. Good you didn't know I was that powerful, did you? Good to see you, Sean, and congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're going to give me the credit, 46. too? 46. 46 in one shot. But I'm bad, right? You know, Not it's funny. <laughs> I've actually watched the president in action. He, he'll take consensus in a room, and he makes up his own mind. You've been around presidents like the... Well, I, you know, I think, look, you're a friend of his, and you're a supporter, and I think you did the right thing. Look, let me tell you a story. 19... But I didn't tell him to do that. But... 1992, the morning after Nixon won 49 states, we were called into the Roosevelt room, and he said, Haldeman said, everybody turn in your resignations. And the president will pick up the ones he wants to accept, and the ones he wants to keep, he'll talk to you. I mean, that's what you do, and I think it's what the president should have done when he comes in. He said, look, everybody pro forma, write a letter of resignation today. Some of you may need to keep you on to finish up your work. But all the jobs, I mean, you're resigned and you're gone. Let's talk about this deep state. Mm -hmm. There are still a lot of hold holdovers. And, look, I have great respect mm -hmm. for intelligence. It's something that's necessary in a world as evil as this. Mm -hmm. I believe that we're being spied on. We've got to spy on them. We've got to know our enemy better they, than they know us. But when you have our intelligence community mm -hmm. using classified information and leaking it selectively, it hurts the president. It hurts the country. You know, as Hamlet said, there is something rotten in the state here, Sean. Look, General Clapper, DNI, the head of director of national intelligence, said, I believe, January 20th, we have found, after six months, I guess it was, no evidence of any collusion whatsoever between the Trump campaign and the Russians and all these leaks. And yet we get story after story saying intelligence sources say I mean, these intelligence, either the journalists are lying, which I don't believe, I think they've got the sources, or the sources are breaking their oath and breaking the law by leaking out falsehoods or things they don't know to damage the President of the United States, and it's being done within the government of the United Sarah States. Sarah Carter and John Solomon. John Solomon, AP, right? 20 years. These are seasoned, real journalists. Mm -hmm. They're not opinion people like right. I am, but they are reporting that, yeah, there was a FISA warrant in October, probably having to do with the larger Russia connection, right. but not with Trump. And they go further. Any time the Trump campaign issue came up, it was investigated and debunked. All right, but yet you, got, you got eight months this thing has been going on. Why has there not been, look, eight months into Watergate, we had seven guys indicted, convicted, prosecuted, the rest of it, and sentenced. They were gone. You got eight months in, not a single indictment. If there's somebody that did something wrong, in the Trump campaign and did something illegal, which I don't believe, and which Clapper said they didn't find, then indict him or shut up. That, I mean, these individuals keep going out and saying the same thing again and again and again without any evidence How does NBC it, it even call themselves a news organization when the conspiracy without any proof, evidence, and I, look, I'm open you know, to seeing it. I'm waiting right? forever. I haven't seen it. they got these ombudsmen in journalism. Why don't one of them come up and say, look, do you have any real evidence of this? Because I Clapper says he runs the whole intelligence agency, and he didn't see it. What about how critical it is, is it for President Trump? As I talk about deep right. state and I talk about a purge, I think it's critical. Obama holdovers mm -hmm. in any department, State Department, intelligence, they got to go. Secondly, whoever the leakers are in the intelligence community, they're given the entire, all these right. agencies a bad name. They're given the profession a bad name. I'm sure it's a small few, probably high up. I think look, How important well, I, it is they get indicted? Look, I think Director Comey of the FBI, there's only a few people that have this information, and only a few people can be leaking it. They ought to run them down, take them out, prosecute them, punish them, and fire them. Do you, you have look, faith but, in Comey? You know, everything I heard about the guy or have heard about him is impressive, that he's got real character and dignity and honor. And But I don't understand. why. Look, the guys in these agencies have an obligation to run these got people in there who are betraying their oaths, you know, d disloyal to the agency, it's a, it's a damaging felony. the commander-in-chief, committing felonies. Why doesn't the FBI investigate that? Look, again, suppose somebody in Trump's campaign got on the phone after a night of drinking and called the Russian ambassador and said, <laughs> look, drop another bunch of email. Yeah. Look, he would, that is not a crime. Right. And, and Clapper says no crimes have been committed. But crimes are being committed by leaking. Here. Violation of the exactly. Espionage Act. Look, and you got the fourth estate collaborators who got First Amendment protection are the ones working with these deep state folks. And they're, they're trying to damage So this destroy. purge needs to go to where we're talking. I think it Intelligence needs to, leakers and, and Obama holdovers. I would go holdovers. to the Intelligence Committee of both houses and say, you've got to 
Okay, run down to see if any Trump folks were fooling around with the Russians. Fine. But get it, get into all these leaks, find out where they were, and prosecute these guys. Right. Listen, I think I mentioned, I don't know whether it was on your show, but look, Donald Trump, you know what his boat was in D.C.? Four. <laughs> <laughs> I got to roll with that. Look, I could have beat him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in D.C. All right, Pat Buchanan, good to see you.